Glory be to God. Right now, you may have your seats in the presence of God and say, Thank you, Jesus. Yes, once again, you are welcome here today to the Synagogue Church of All Nations, the Arena of Liberty. We know that your coming here today is not by mere chance or accident, it is by divine invitation that you are here in God's presence. And we know that for the fact that you are here today, your case has already been settled in heaven. The miracle you are here to receive has already happened in heaven. We are just here to see the confirmation. But already it has happened. Because God would not bring you here today if he did not have the solution to your problem. So for the fact that you are here today, you must know that your case will not escape the anointing of God. There is enough anointing available here today to meet your needs. All you need to do is to use your faith to put a demand upon that anointing. So tell your neighbor, 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 right now, open the door of your hearts. That's all. When you open the door of your hearts to God, He will open His windows of heaven and pour out a blessing upon your life that you will not be able to contain. So your own role right now is just to open your hearts and prepare yourself for what Jesus Christ is about to do. And one of the things that will help us to build our faith and to really open our hearts to God, to know that there's nothing He cannot do, there's no problem He cannot solve, is to listen to the testimonies of other people. We believe that these testimonies will encourage you that when you hear cases that are even worse than your own and what Jesus Christ has done for them, you will know that God Almighty is in control of your own situation as well. So we want to start with testimonies right now. And the first set of testimonies we're going to listen to concern the anointing water. I believe so many of us have heard so much about the anointing water. It's important for us to listen to these testimonies to let us know how Jesus Christ is working through this medium in our generation today. So let's open our hearts right now. It is time to listen to these testimonies. Mesdames et Messieurs, à présent, c'est le moment pour nous d'écouter les témoignages. Apprêtons nos cœurs à pouvoir entendre ces témoignages et que ces témoignages renforcent notre foi et notre croyance dans notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ et pour la gloire de Dieu. And build up your faith. So, sir, you're very welcome here today. Can you introduce yourself to us? Tell us your name and where you're from. My name is Gerson Kwame Richuga. I'm from Ghana. And tell us more about the, the problem you were having, sir. But last year, around November, uh, I had a problem of not able to urinate. And I went to the hospital. When I was sent to the hospital, they diagnosed that I have a large prostate. So I was fitted with catheter. And I was asked to change this catheter every two weeks. The first two weeks, I went to change it. But the next one, we should have changed at 26 December, I went, they couldn't remove the catheter. Before going ahead, sir, could you just explain for the benefits of those of us here uh, what, what it means to have an enlarged prostate, the type of challenges you are facing, the pains you are in as a result of this condition? In fact, when you have a large prostate in the first place, you cannot urinate. And then after that too, you never feel fine within your body. You will be uneasy all the time. In fact, it is very, very painful that you cannot urinate while you fail to urinate. It's not easy. In fact, the, the time that it started, I thought that was my end. But when they fitted the catheter, I was able to pass the urine through the catheter. So, Upon that, the two weeks, that is the fourth, uh, the second two weeks, that is 26 December, I should have changed it. 
But I went to the hospital, they couldn't change it. I went to about three or four hospitals, and I was finally directed to the specialist. And the specialist said, he tried, they say, unless by surgery, unless surgery, that this catheter could be changed. So the amount that they asked me to pay for the surgery, it wasn't a small amount which I couldn't get. But my son promised that he will try and get me some loans so that I can go to the hospital. Okay, so, so just to understand, sir, you mean the catheter actually got stuck within your system? Yeah, it got stuck within my bladder. That they say unless surgery before it can be removed. And what did the doctors say are the dangers of having a catheter which is supposed to be replaced every two weeks actually stuck in an organ in your body, your bladder? What did the doctors tell you about this situation? The doctors say that if I didn't change it, I'll have an infection. But I was opportune to have anointing water when I came here last year. So when the problem started, I was using anointing water. I was using anointed water all along. So my son got the money just two weeks ago. And the money that he had, he told me, Daddy, before you go to the surgery, I want you to come to synagogue. Then I said, well, this money is enough for the surgery. But he said, no, come to synagogue before you come for the surgery. But last week, just last week, a week today, something happened. What happened was, I, was, I went to church after the church. I wasn't feeling within me fine. And all of a sudden, when I saw, went, when I saw the urinal bag, I saw a little blood in it. So I thought the infections have started. Not knowing God is about to do a miracle. So that Sunday, Monday, the pains continue. And I took some painkillers. But in the night of Monday, about 11 p.m., I went to bed. And around quarter to 2 a.m., I woke up and the pain was very, very serious within me. Then I took some of the anointing water. I took other things. But yes, sir, the pain was there. And I saw the blood now mixing the urine. So, in fact, I was alarmed. My wife was sleeping beside me, but I didn't wake her up. All of a sudden, what I saw was the catheter started shaking like this. Shaking like this and coming out. Shaking like this and coming out. Then I say, hey, so God, you can perform surgery like this. So all along I was there. Then I couldn't sleep. Then around 4 a.m., my wife woke up. And he said, what is happening, daddy? Then I said, something is happening. Something wonderful is happening. So he came out to a point and got stuck. Then my wife said, look, daddy, let me give you water. Let's pour anointing water in it so that you will drink it. So she gave me the water. I drank it. And after drinking it, then I said, you wait. Before she realized, then she went and put on the telly. Then... We normally watch Emmanuel TV. So the first thing that when the telly came on was, the man of God was saying that there is nothing impossible to the Lord. Then I claim it because last two years when I came here, that was the message the man of God gave to me, that there is nothing impossible unto God. So immediately, my wife saw that the catheter started shaking again, like this, and coming out. Then all of a sudden, I stood up. When I stood up, the catheter fell. Well, let's put our hands together for our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I think uh, we, we need to fully understand what our Father is saying. So as the anointing water was ministered, the catheter inserted into your body began to shake by itself. By itself. Began to shake. You know, sometimes when a man of God is praying for some people, and then he is doing like this. You see the person shaking. I am far away in the western region of Ghana. But through the anointing water, I experienced that shaking of the capital coming out. And I can show you the catheter. This is the catheter. And you know, when the catheter, not knowing, when the catheter went into the bladder, this very place was inflicted. 
So the catheter refused to come. But after it came out, immediately I went and urinate. I urinate about twice that morning. Then within about an hour, I had a call from one of my daughters. He said, Daddy, how are you? I said, I'm fine. He said, no. This night I had a dream about you. I met you at the hospital being sent to the theater. You were, I, you were being sent to the theater. And they say you need some injection before they send you to the theater. So I went and brought the injection. And then you took the injection. You injected yourself. Immediately she woke up. Then I told her, it is true. This night the Lord sent me to his theater. So, in fact, she is staying far off where I am. But if God was able to reveal to her, it was just a confirmation to me that it is God himself who did the surgery. So, in fact, the catheter came out with some blood and other things that I needed. And after that, the blood ceased. So, since from last week, Tuesday, I have been urinating freely up to today. Uh, let's put our hands together for our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, there are no natural words to describe it except to say thank you, Jesus. This is the catheter our Father is holding right now, which the doctors could not remove from his bladder. It was stuck, and he had to undergo a very expensive surgery to be able to remove this catheter. But Jesus Christ operated himself on the catheter, and it came out without any medical support as our father ministered the anointing water and ever since then he's been free and urinating freely to the glory of god one more time let's put our hands together for jesus christ for this wonderful testimony and sir we can actually see a, a doctor's report by your side can you just tell us w once again uh, what this is and how serious that condition was the report says that the above name is 67 years old this is seven years old man with an enlarged prostate. Patient catheter is stuck inside the bladder and only surgery can remove it. Patient is promptly pre preparing for surgery. Well, so we can understand that this is indeed a miracle from our Lord Jesus Christ and we give him all the glory what he has done in our father's life and uh, so right now i believe you're in a position to really advise people of god concerning this anointing water that you're holding right now what is your word of advice and encouragement to people of god about this you see this anointing water i have experienced what it can do in the life of many people because many people come to me i need anointing water i pour some in the world and there were many testimonies but to me personally the anointing water has done something great in my life. And I just want to advise the whole world that this water, it is not from man. It is not from the senior prophet T.B. Joshua. It is from the Lord himself. Because Jesus, when the blood was pouring out, when he was nailed on the cross, the next thing that came out was water. And that is the water that's the Lord revealed to the senior prophet TV Joshua. So all that I want to say is, have your faith in the Lord. Because the prophet had faith in Jesus. That's why when Jesus revealed it unto him, he gave it to us. And we also, we need faith. So all that I will say is, faith plus faith equals to a miracle. Hallelujah. We thank God for our, our Father's life and that wonderful word of advice. We pray that God will give you the grace to continue to stay close to our Lord Jesus Christ, 
to maintain this wonderful miracle and the best is yet to come in Jesus name. Amen. Mesdames et messieurs, nous sommes en train d'écouter ce merveilleux témoignage de cet homme qui nous vient du Ghana. Il nous dit que l'an dernier, il avait des difficultés à uriner. Il s'est rendu à l'hôpital et lui on lui a diagnostiqué un élargissement de la prostate. L'urine avait beaucoup de mal à sortir et le peu qui sortait aussi lui causait beaucoup de douleur. Le médecin lui a donc placé un cathéter et c'était avec ce cathéter qu'il arrivait à se soulager. En même temps, il avait l'eau d'onction et l'administrait pendant sa maladie. Et on a voulu lui enlever le cathéter, mais malheureusement, ce cathéter était bloqué dans son organisme à cause de la coagulation du sang autour de, de, du tuyau. Alors, il a commencé à prier, il utilisait toujours l'eau d'onction et un jour, il a voulu aller uriner, il a vu qu'un peu de sang était sorti, il a pensé que c'était une infection, mais c'était à ce moment que le Seigneur a commencé par opérer le miracle pour le libérer de ce cathéter pour lequel il avait été programmé pour une opération. Par la gloire de Dieu et pour sa grâce, il a, le cathéter a commencé par bouger tout seul et miraculeusement est sorti tout seul, sans problème, et juste après, il a commencé par uriner normalement. Aujourd'hui, il est devant nous pour rendre toute la gloire à Dieu et dire qu'il nous faut la foi pour faire bouger toutes les montagnes qui se dressent devant nous. Continuamos con más testimonios aquí en la Sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones. Este hombre nos presenta un certificado médico en el cual estaba a punto de, 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 de ser operado, puesto que tenía dificultad al caminar debido a usar un catete que se había insertado en su parte y no podían eh, quitarlo, sino a través de una cirugía, como lo estamos viendo en pantalla. El doctor diagnosticó que solamente con cirugía podrían extraer ese catete. Este catete es debido a un eh, enlargamiento en la próstata, un problema de próstata, pero él para la gracia de Dios creyó en la agua de unción, tuvo la oportunidad de obtener el agua de unción, él oró con fe, se aplicó el agua de unción y nos platica que empezó a moverse el catete y por sí mismo salir de su organismo. Gloria a Dios, este es un gran testimonio del poder de resurrección del agua de unción, liberando a esta persona de una operación quirúrgica cerca de este catete que está insertado en su parte y él nos platica que inmediatamente que él salió pudo orinar libremente más de dos veces. Gloria a Dios, este es un testimonio más del agua de unción. Hallelujah. And finally, sir, we can see you're holding a, a tablet device with a picture. Can you just tell us what we're seeing in this picture? It's when the catheter came out. You could see the urine mixed with blood. So you can see it there. That is the moment the catheter came out when Jesus Christ performed the divine operation. Picture was snapped just to give evidence to the glory of God. And we thank Jesus Christ for what he has done. One more time, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. 